I'd like for you to meet at this time Dale Robertson, who needs no introductions to Oklahomans. And Dale, I bet it's quite a privilege for you to be the uh, Master of Ceremonies here for this award center. It certainly is. It's always a privilege to get back here, especially for an occasion like this. I bet there's a lot of pride in you for Oklahoma and the West. Yes, yes. I've always been proud of it. Worked all my life to get back here again. Well, that's wonderful. You have several farms around or, or ranches, do you not? Yes. My brother Chet and I have uh, haymaker farms out here north of Oklahoma City. Well, good. We sure hope you enjoy the stay this time and come back more often than you do, okay? Well, I'll make it as often as I can. <laughs> We're looking forward to this awards dinner where you will be presiding. Thank you. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. And this is Pat Wayne, who is the son of John Wayne. And Pat, uh, you are representing your father, I presume? That's right. I'm sorry my father couldn't be here tonight. He's over in Africa, but I'm sure glad that I'm here representing him. Well, I'm sure it's going to give you a lot of pride to accept this award for the Alamo. Oh, I'm very, I'm very appreciative of it. Okay, thank you. And this, I would like for you to meet, is Don La Cava. La Cava. I got it right, Don. And Don is with uh, John Wayne's corporation which is called the uh, bad, bad jack, jack. Yes. bad jack i remember it and uh, you will be representing this company and accepting the award for the yes. whole evening well we hope yes. you enjoy it and we're very happy that you won the award for it we will and we appreciate it very much uh, thank you and would you like to come over here by me this as you well know is mr paul brenniger who is alias Wishbone. Wishbone? Oh, I wasn't even thinking about salad dressing yeah. that time. <laughs> You're quite a cook, I hear. Uh, enough to get by. I don't cook very well out and dressed up like this. I don't know what our trail boss would say if he could see me like this. Well, he'd probably ride off into the wild blue yonder. <laughs> oh, been here. Well, wonderful. And I know rawhide is a real fun part for you in, in this. It is. Wishbone. Uh, it's a shame to take their money. Well, I'll bet. As they send us on nice little trips like this. I brought a friend with me. Oh, well, that's good. So, uh, good. I want to get a hold of him, you too. You talk to him. Yes. Well, thanks so much, Paul, for stopping by and chatting with well, us. thank you. And congratulations on your award. Uh, that's a rawhide award. I wish I could say it were mine. Well, it is. A big part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Get out of there. Let me talk to this pretty good. This is Sheb Woolley, who is uh, in the series Rawhide on television, and... Your name in the Rawhide series is Pete, right? Pete, Pete Nolan, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm the scout for the drive. And uh, the next drive we start, I'm going to bring it right through Oklahoma. Well, you'd better because we like you very much. In fact, you are a native Oklahoman, are you not? That's right. Born and raised uh, in Eric, Oklahoma. People around here might not know where it is, but you know where oh, it is. I because know where mail it is. comes from out there, doesn't it? It certainly does. And, Chef, I'm sure this is a great pleasure for you to represent the uh, series, Rawhide, in accepting this award. It really is, Ida. Uh, anything to preserve the American heritage, I think it's the most romantic period we've ever had in our history. And uh, I'm just a cowboy at heart, and I always will be. That's good. In fact, you look a little bit out of, out of costume. Well, I, <laughs> I tell you the truth. Um, came down here, and uh, they rented this thing for me and said every, everything was in tuck, so they rented this and brought it up. And it took me, I had to have Wishbone come in and help me yeah. hook up my cummerbum. Uh, is, cum is that right, cummerbum? I guess. Cumberbum. I, I really well, don't know. this thing here, you see. Yes, that's your belt. No, that's <laughs> really good. Cumberbum. No, I know. I was just kidding. You. Well, <laughs> it's a wide belt. Right? Well, we certainly do want to uh, wish you all of the luck in the world in the future uh, episodes of Rawhide and also congratulate you on the award. Thank you very much, and it's a privilege to associated with the show. Well, thank you very much, Ed. See you later, okay? And I have two gentlemen here I'd like for you to meet. Would you like to come right over? We're going to hit this as we can. These gentlemen are uh, here representing... Now, I'm going to let you tell us because I just saw you on the sideline. Would you like to tell us? I'm Walter Crangel from Balfour, South Dakota. And uh, you are? I'm Merton Glover from Porcupine, South Dakota. Porcupine, hey, that's a good name. A little sticky. Uh. <laughs> it surely is. <laughs> But uh, the award that you are to accept tonight is representing, uh, what may I ask? Uh, it's Four Seasons West, and uh, was sponsored. We financed back the uh, production of this movie. Oh, that's wonderful, Four Seasons West. And you really were the brains of it then, huh? Uh, or I the suppose. backing. Backing, I think. The brawn. The best brawn, that's the best, that's word. <laughs> that's the best word. Well, it's certainly wonderful having you here in Oklahoma City, and congratulations on your award. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. This is Ruth Woodman, who is the author of many, many in the series of 
Death Valley days. And Ruth Woodman, we'd like to uh, offer our congratulations on winning the award for one of your programs. Well, thank you very much. I'm terribly pleased myself. Well, the one that won the award here in the Western Heritage Award is the... Uh, N the name of it is uh, the Great Lounsbury School. The Lounds Great Lounds yes. Lounsbury School, and I'm sure many, many of us have seen it. In fact, yes. we've seen many reruns of Death Valley Days, and they mm -hmm. always seem to have a great audience. And you have been writing these for a long time. I've written them since we went on. I don't write them all now. I'm a story editor now, but I did used to write all of them. Well, story editor is real big responsibility it for is. a series. It is. It is. It is. And we certainly Good think fun. you're doing a great job on it. Well, thank you very much. And uh, you mentioned to me that you did them when you started on radio with Death Valley Days. We did. Back in Indian Territory Day. Well, <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> well, we yes. certainly do want you to have a wonderful time while you're here and thank accept you. our congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mrs. Wood. Thank you, dear. Now, that's all. This is Dick Gosweller, who is representing the Kiwanis Magazine. In fact, Dick, you are the editor of the magazine, are you not? Executive editor, yes. Uh, I'm under Mr. O.E. Peterson, Secretary of Kiwanis, who uh, unfortunately couldn't be here, but who I'm happy to represent, as well as 250,000 Kiwanians throughout the United States and Canada. Well, actually, isn't it quite an outstanding honor for a organization magazine to win such an honor as you won for the Old Chisholm Trail article. We feel we're very lucky. We're certainly very happy about it. We're uh, proud to, to get this award, and, and uh, I'm very happy to be here. Well, I'm sure there are many Kiwanians. Is that what you call yourself? That's right. Uh, watching you to, and, and are having a lot of pride in themselves in knowing that you and the people you work with on the magazine itself had the ability to get this and the authenticity behind the story to win the award. Well, we're certainly happy to get it. Thank you very much. Thank you, and congratulations. Right, thank, thank you. you.